Hi. I feel you're glaring at me. No. <laughs> Expectant, angry, what does that look? I'm ready. Ready. Interestingly, Bethany Frankel, you were the last interview I did before my son was born. Really? The one that was in the apartment when we cooked yep. mac and cheese? We cooked mac and cheese. What a difference four and a half years makes. What a difference for both of us. A lot of people want to host their own talk shows. Would you say that the reality shows, the cookbooks, the tycooniness all was leading up to that point for you? Or was the talk show an outgrowth of all those other things? The talk show was not a grand plan like other people. I didn't even know to want that as a goal. What, it, was, it, became, it was just an evolution. I, I was on a reality show and people wanted to ask me questions and talk to me about whether it was my books or my life or my marriage or, or health or cocktails. And I felt like I couldn't really talk except for on Twitter or Facebook. There was not really a place. In my books, I write and then they read about it, but we don't get to interact. So it became a way to connect, just the next level in a relationship with women. All the other things have been stepping stones, not one reality show, but four, right? From The Apprentice with Martha Stewart to The Real Housewives of right. New York, Bethany getting married, Bethany, Bethany ever, ever after. Right. And Skating with the Stars, don't forget that gem. Well, who could forget Skating yeah. with the Stars? <laughs> I'm so sorry that about that. Gem. Yes. Dizzy? Vaguely reminiscent of childbirth. <laughs> Through all of those, the world has gotten a pretty intimate look at your life. Looking back on how things have gone, do you think things would have, in your marriage, gone differently if it wasn't being played out on TV? Do you think you would have made any different choices had there not been cameras rolling? No, but I don't want to go. I really don't want to. I don't know why I did this. Television did not contribute to the breakdown of my marriage. It didn't. Me not going with my gut initially is something that you know, that I've done before, and that was my, that's, 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 that's something that I have to deal with. Where we get to put her on my side of the bed or your side Mine. of the bed? Mine. So I'll climb over you and punch you in the face. Is there anything either on the Bethany show or from the reality shows that you wish you hadn't shared? At this point, no. It's all, I mean, no. Every day there's something new and I just have to take it in stride now. I mean, there's some days that you get a little wound up about something being out. Bottom line is most people are interested in themselves. They're not really that interested in me. They're interested in me for five seconds in watching whatever it is that they're watching and then they're, they're onto the, their own lives. Oprah gave out cars, I give out vibrators. <laughs> I know how fulfilling it is to have a talk show and do something you love. What I don't know is having had a really successful product like Skinny Girl Margaritas or best-selling books, uh, having made a bunch of money, which is the most satisfying to you? The street cred of being a real business person. I like that. The lady knows how to cocktail. Does Skinny Girl make people feel like they're gonna get skinny when they drink it? Yes, they feel like as they, they drink they drink twice as much because they're gonna get twice as skinny. How do you feel about that when you go to sleep <laughs> at night knowing you've got these drunken women consuming booze and calories all over the place thinking uh, they're gonna wake up thinner? I'll drink to that. <laughs> Cheers. There's dog hair in my glass, is that, Sorry, is it gross. good? It's delicious, it's protein. Oh good. Cheers. This is my hair, this is called a hairy, hairy coffee. Yeah, but you get thinner if you drink it. Mm-hmm.